Okay, now we're ready to put the spokes in. I guess this is where the fun begins. Anyway, it was all fun anyway. But this is where you get to see the end result here. So that's, I've already put one together. And uh, so one of the other few tools you might need maybe is a drill. If you find some of the holes aren't quite neat cleaned out a little bit, have a drill handy. Or some sandpaper, a little bit of sandpaper to, if it doesn't slide in easily. Okay, and of course, toothpicks. Toothpicks, round mill toothpicks. Um, if, if I was able to find some something that was uh, some dowel type stuff that what wasn't toothpicks, I'd use that. But these are seem to work fairly fairly well. So the first step is on this step here is to take and cut the tapered end off. Uh, I tend not to cut the whole taper off, so then it slips into the into the hole a little uh, better. With if it's got a slight little thing, it's more likely to line up. Then it's just a matter of uh, we'll start the bottom hole first and uh, slide it in till it uh, goes right in to the hole in the inside there. Now I didn't show you my little saw here, but then I just saw it off and take it turned around go to the next hole on the bottom slide it in a little short to push there so I'll use that and then cut that off and uh, then go to pick another toothpick and cut the tapered ends off I use the scissors here, it makes it a lot better. And the next toothpick I tried uh, got a little, got stuck, so I took it out and uh, tried another one here, and uh, that's going in nicely. Cut it off. I cut part way through and then turn it around. Well, that's a crook. Oh, let's keep it down here. and cut it off. I think it's a good idea probably just to try the toothpicks first. Uh, that one's a little loose. You'll have to end up to... Oh, that was a wonder. For some reason my slanted holes are a little looser. Probably be because I uh, Took a fair amount of time. Oh, that's just a nice fit. Okay, cut it off. That one flew away on me, so I'll have to try another one. Okay, that one's going to go in there. You, if it'll go in, you can put the then cut the the tapered end off too. You can do it that way. Anyway, I'll continue around here, and uh, it'll only take a few minutes. And we'll, we'll be able to put the slanted ones in, which will be the same process. Okay, I've started putting the outer layer on there, and it's uh, fairly simple. These holes, I put a new drill bit in on, and it seems to uh, they fit better. So that's a good idea. Start with a good drill bit, and... Uh, It'll make your life easier, as they say. So, this is going quite quickly, actually. That's what she looks like. That didn't take very long at all. The next step is to glue that in. And uh, you can take uh, crazy glue and if the liquid's it's fairly liquid. It'll 
it'll go down and glue the the ones underneath just give it a little squeeze it'll go right down you could uh, glue the first layer in if you like that would be okay too this is what I've been doing and it and I've been quite happy with it and then we just go around the outside there's lots of room here to go down to the first this next one just quickly go down there I get these little tubes at the dollar store and they're quite nice for little jobs uh, cheap and and uh, I've already did one and I was squirting quite heavy so I'll have to go get another one and finish that off but that's all there is to it well welcome back today as I continue to share this great idea on how to make these uh, spoked wheels for uh, models uh, the glue is dried and uh, they're pretty solid so we'll just continue uh, making them into a finished product we'll go back to the lathe here and uh, I'll sh just run through the process there's very little wood to take off so it shouldn't take very long uh, one of the first things I do is uh, take a, a drill and run it through the hole there just to clean up the inside uh, that only takes a second or so the reason for that is some of the when you're putting in the spokes some of them push through there's glue that goes through in that anyway I'll uh, I got one started here so I'll uh, mount a new one in and uh, You'll see how quickly it goes. Well, hopefully you'll be able to see how I uh, do these operations here. I've tried to make it fairly close there, but first thing I'm going to do is take off the little nibs here, and what I found works really good is just a file. And then I'm going to uh, mark off the width that I want. Uh, on these it's almost 5 eighths. Put a little line there. That'll give you an idea. Okay. Now the next step is to uh, shape the front of the I've got these uh, small lathe tools here that I picked up uh, on sale just to have them and I hadn't used them but found out that they they'll work very well on this one any type of lathe tool you want uh, have to work so I'm going to round the top corner here a little bit take a look to see if it's all done up good looks not too bad there 
and bring this back here and uh, use some sort of a pointed tool to define the tire and the rim. Now, we'll move this back around. And I'm going to take this little uh, parting tool and uh, cut there this thing here started touching there we go and uh, then we're going to round the top of the And a little check to see if it looks good. Compare it with one of the ones you've already done. And uh, just a little bit more on the inside here. If it looks good, we're ready to to take it off. Okay, I'm gonna go back to my parting tool.
do that before you um, That's all there is to it. But uh, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is uh, we'll take this out. This can be used for a regular wheel. <clears throat> This can now be mounted back in the, into the, uh, and now that you've got those tire tracks around there, you can adjust it, you can see when it's, pretty good <clears throat> no, well the baby just try sandpaper here finish up that right there put that center there make sure our corner is nicely rounded sand a little bit on the inside And pronto, <clears throat> you got a wheel. <sighs> and that's, uh, I tried to do this as quick as possible. Obviously, it'd take a little more care to it. Uh, but uh, anyway, that's all there is to it. And then the next step will be uh, showing you how to blacken the, the tire part of it there. Now that all the uh, wheels are uh, sanded and uh, they're ready for finishing touches, got uh, lines for treads. Another shot of the wheel, the front of the wheel there. The, the last holes that I drilled in, uh, I just very slowly started to drill into the wood and, and let it spin in there. It came out right on, very, very uh, accurately and a very evenly spaced. I was quite happy with those. few in the back, uh, they weren't quite as good, but you, they, basically you can't tell. So anyway, we'll put the black on here. I thought of several things to do, but uh, uh, I didn't have ink and I didn't have paint and so on and so forth. So I come up with this idea. Why not just use a, on the prototype there, I just uh, picked up a big felt pen and went for it with uh, the nice part about this is you don't get runs you can put the black right where you want to that little groove on the side here it's very easy just to come right along there and you get right up to it nice without uh, getting black on something else it dries quickly and uh, 
pick these things up at a dollar store somewhere and and go for it. The spokes go through the outside but with the black on there it colors it up and you can't tell tell but see I can I got that on there I can put my finger on that already once I once you come along that edge there then you can go hog wild on the rest of it and that doesn't take very long to do at all this is something you can do right in the house on the kitchen table dining room table and uh, instead of in the shop okay so that's my secret for blackened tires it's the best thing I've come up with in a long time Anyway, I'll finish this up and uh, maybe show them to you when I'm done. Well, that was pretty easy, wasn't it? Almost as easy as falling off a log. But anyway, I hope uh, some of you uh, try this method and make some fantastic uh, wheels and make some fantastic mo models. Uh, as I said before, uh, this is my next video will cover the making of this car here. They're very simple to make. Uh, all you need is a pitcher to do like this and uh, and that's all there is to it so uh, well wasn't that easy I hope that gives you some inspiration and some ideas to give this uh, a try it's it's all you need is a lathe a drill press and uh, a little bit of patience and it goes fast enough if you make uh, multiple things you can easily make the whole set from beginning to finish finish in uh, less than a, a day and have a great time doing it. So thanks again for watching and uh, subscribe. I'll have more ideas coming up. The next project will be to mount these tires and wheels onto a car. And I sh showed you a picture at the beginning, but it's going to be a, a 1933 Packard. So, so long till next time.